Hey guys, Bo HD here, and I got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Gear. This is the first smartwatch made by Samsung, and it's also one of the first smartwatches to hit the market. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in the box. So taking a look at the outside of the Galaxy Gear box, you'll see it has a very familiar wood nature casing that Samsung is famous for, which really makes it fit into the Galaxy family of devices. But if we get started with the unboxing and slide off the top portion of the box to reveal the Galaxy Gear itself, you'll see, yes, I got it in orange because orange is awesome, but you'll also see a very premium device that just looks great. I mean, it's one thing to see this watch on your computer screen and another to see it in real life. And just by first glance, this device looks much better than I previously imagined. But if we set the gear off to the side and take a look at what lies underneath, we'll see the micro USB cable and wall charger, along with the charging dock that needs to be clamped onto the watch in order for it to charge. And that's just about all that's in this box besides the get started and instructions packets, which I almost didn't see because they were tucked into the side of the box. But if we take a look back at the Galaxy Gear, at first glance, this device doesn't look like a Samsung product at all, just because the build quality is just so good. For example, the front of this device is made of entirely metal and glass, with an industrial sort of look to it, as there are four screws on the top of the watch that presumably hold the device together. But if you've been watching many of my past reviews on Samsung devices, you'll know that Samsung doesn't like to use metal in their devices, so it's nice to see a metal build quality on the front of this watch. Now Samsung didn't opt for an entirely metal device as they chose to use plastic for the wristband portion, but that doesn't look too bad since there are little grooves that gave it some added style and grip, and the bottom fastener is actually made of metal so it doesn't feel too flimsy, or it doesn't feel like it's going to break at least. But as for how this device functions, all you really have to do is pair the charging dock with your Galaxy Note or other Samsung device running Android 4.3, and let it do the rest. It'll ask you to download the Samsung Gear Manager app, but it's pretty self-explanatory and the setup is essentially automatic. So when you have the device connected, you can sync various clock designs from your phone to your watch just by simply tapping on the one you want. You can also download other apps just for your watch by going to Samsung apps, and considering this device and smartwatch category is so incredibly new, there's actually quite a few apps to choose from, so that's pretty cool to see. Now as for the watch itself, you can view the time just by turning your wrist, or you can press the sleep button on the side of the watch. What's really cool is that this watch actually has a camera built into the frame that can be accessed by simply sliding down from the top of the display. By first impressions, it does seem pretty awkward to use, but it's definitely something that you could wow your friends with. But all the navigation done on this watch is through swipes. I mean, you can swipe down to access the camera, you can swipe up to go back, you swipe from left to right to access various settings and apps, and overall it's very responsive despite hearing some negative reviewers saying otherwise. Now after playing around with the Galaxy Gear for a while, there's really only a few actions it can do. You can call people by swiping up and dialing a number, and you can talk to them and listen to them through the speaker that is located on the bottom of the watch. I will note that this actually looks incredibly strange, believe it or not, but the idea is super cool, and the microphone and speaker work exceptionally well. Everyone I was talking to through the watch could actually hear me crystal clear, which I found surprising. You can also view text messages and other notifications through your watch, but it doesn't look like you can reply to them unless you try and use S Voice by double tapping the power button, but S Voice is terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean good luck, because half the time it doesn't even pick up what you're saying, and the other time it just translates it completely wrong. This is an area Samsung should have spent more time on, or maybe should have just ditched the S Voice completely and replaced it with Google Now, because it's essentially useless as is. But there are some other stock applications like the Gallery app and Pedometer, but just by first impressions, I am shocked with how futuristic this device is, although I have the feeling that once the wow factor subdues, I'll be wishing it did more. So that's my first impressions video of the Samsung Galaxy Gear. I'm really looking forward to testing this watch out and seeing what all it can do so I can get my in-depth review up for you guys. But I want to ask you guys, what do you think is the best feature of the Samsung Galaxy Gear? It could be the camera or the ability to call people from your watch. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say, so let me know down below in a comment and I might feature you in my next video. And if you happen to stumble upon this video and you aren't a subscriber, feel free to subscribe right down here so you can stay up to date with all the latest tech products. But with that said, that's going to about do it for this video, guys. If you haven't checked out my last video review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, you can do so right down here, or you can take a look at the world's thinnest 10-inch tablet, which is also known as the Sony Xperia Tablet Z, if that's something you're interested in. But as always, guys, I'm BoHD from How To and More. Thanks for watching.